Hello there, I wanted to upload this video to help people out with the Super Mod. I actually been having a lot of fun with this mod and I made sure I donated it to it so that way we can continue to get awesome updates from these great developers. At the time of this video, we're on version 2.2 of the Super Mod. As always, I have broken this video up into chapters to save you time. Also, I will make sure to pin any updates in the comment section to help you all out. Let's get right to it. Okay, one of the first issues I wanted to get to is some people don't know how to install a 2K texture pack. And this is something that I noticed that I got a very nice performance boost in VR when I use the 2K textures. Like, uh, I'll, I'll list my specs at the bottom of the video, but at, at the moment I'm running a 2080 Ti. I used to have a 3090 Ti, but anyways, that burned out and I ended up having to refund it. So. I'm on a 2080 Ti, so that's kind of nice because I'm having issues that other people will have for like for sure. Anyways, um, as you see here, is like once I unzipped it, I just basically just created a folder called Sufa 2K Textures folder. And if you go in here, I just want to show you here. And I've been posting this these steps in the Discord channel as well. And, and I will make sure I'll link how to get to the Discord there too, since you can talk to me in there. So anyways, this is the folder, like the CPT, it's called CPT Textures. But as you see here, I have the entire path. And that way, it's very nice using OVGME. I discussed OV, OVGME in my last video, right? How to install a SUFA. But anyways, this is, this is what I do. So that way I can hot swap it, right? So I can just double click on this to disable or in enable it. And I do the same thing with deliveries. And the reason why I do that is because if I'm if I don't have this active, then there's just no point in having deliveries there. Otherwise, when I'm in a mission editor, if I'm trying to scroll through all my textures, there's just no point of seeing these liveries if I don't have this mod active, like when I go online to play multiplayer or something like that. So basically, um, I, dis I discussed OVGM OVGME before, but this is really great because any mod that breaks integrity checks, it's good to just, just throw it in here. And that's pretty much it for this section, by the way. Next question I have seen in the Discord channel, does it replace the F16C? The answer is yes, it will override it and it will break integrity checks. However, you can still use the F16C after you install the mod. They simply just renamed it into F16CM Block 50. So your favorite liveries and everything is still here after you install the mod. You can also use the CFT conformal fuel tank in the mission editor. I hope this answers this question for folks. That have been on the edge about installing it uh, installing it i feel like if they would just install the mod they would have noticed but you know people i suppose they're just being thorough and doing their research a little bit i think this is also answering the fact though but you know maybe they just haven't read that yet okay right quick i will just show you how i do my liveries and the reason why I do this is because if the Sufa mod is inactive, then there's no point in having deliveries installed in my opinion. And of course, I'm using the mod manager here, OVGME, as I do with any mod that breaks integrity checks. Anyways, let's get into it right here. This is the top level folder for deliver here, but we can start up here. This is just the custom mods folder. That's what OVGM points to. And then, so I made a folder here called Sufa Liveries, and I've just been dumping all of the liveries in here, and I'm going to go all the way in here. So there's a distinction here between the Block 50 and the Block 52. So if the skin calls out that it's for the Block 52, then you'll want to drop it into like F16D underscore 52 folder. But if it's Block 50, then you see the average scan so far, they're, they're for the block 50. So I just put them in here. Otherwise, if you don't put it in the correct block folder, you might see some minor artifacts. That's what I've noticed. I actually did this in one of my videos. I accidentally installed one of the skins in the wrong folder. 
And that's it for this section. So I see a lot of questions about multiplayer and how to operate the craft when you're in the WSO seat. So just some quick tips here from playing in multiplayer myself is like the WSO, you have to auto start the jet and you, you know, you have to use the windows home key. Make sure that's bound, then you can auto start. Also, you need to make sure you close the canopy. You might need to close it. I'm not sure about that. But if you see like, if you see weirdness, like the canopy might be open for the pilot, but you know, closed for the other guy, or it's like vice versa. If it's some sort of sync issue like that, you know, you just have to be mindful. You might have to close the canopy. You can, I know in single player at least, you can switch the seats with the zero and nine keys. I see that get off. I get I see that get axed often. So just keep that in mind. Zero and nine keys. You can like switch between the pilot and the WSO seat. You can also request control when you're in the in the WSO seat by hitting your C key, I believe. And then that will request, you know, you can take control from the pilot. And then you can fly the craft from the back seat, which is really cool. Okay, that's it for multiplayer. That's all the tips I have at the moment. I hope this video was helpful to someone. If you made it this far, then hopefully you enjoyed it and found it useful. Please let me know in the comments if I miss anything or have any suggestions for me. Lastly, make sure you check out the Discord for this mod as well. There's a lot of resources that can help people out. Alright, that's a wrap for this video. See you later.